A crash repairer has revealed to Nine News how he's been driven out of business by the dozens of prank phone calls he gets every day. Sam Asal has been told by police that they can't help. Instead, he could be forced to change the name of his company. Sam Asal named his crash repair business Lord of the Dings nine years ago for a laugh. But in the last two months, it's been beyond a joke. Not funny at all, no. It's, it's killing us in the business. His Elizabeth workshop is bombarded up to 40 times a day with prank calls. One has gone viral, already getting almost 200,000 hits on YouTube. Lord of the Dings? Yeah. That is a horrible name. The comments go from plain nuisance to offensive and even threatening. You come down here, I'll caught your head with a rock, mate. It's racist, it's sexual. They call us here and say they're going to bring car in and bomb the place up. Sam reported the calls to police but was simply advised to change his number. Police say there's little they can do when it comes to phone pests. There are strict Commonwealth laws governing when they can trace calls and generally they need to be threats of harm or of a sexually explicit nature. And then the victim needs to contact their service provider. Sam's phone company said in his case nothing could be done. Where's the laws that cover us? Where's, where is? Everyone tells me it's privacy, that's how I can't get hold of anything, but where's our privacy? Now at his wit's end, his decade-old business name could end up on the scrap heap. I hope not. I shouldn't have to. Virginia Langerberg, Nine News.